Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and we're going to recap the week and show you what we sold. Okay, so some really cool sales today. Today is Friday, uh, but I'm going to jump back to Monday, we actually had a couple of cool sales all through the week, really. we've uh, it, It's been a fun week. Uh, so let's flash back. On Monday, you might have seen in our last video, we talked about international shipping. This guy sold, uh, you'll remember that classic cartoon from the 90s. This going to Australia, actually, uh, which is why it was in the international video that we just did. So really nice sale here. Uh, this part of the bulk deal that uh, I, I got a whole bunch of stuff from a reseller getting out of this thing uh, for $200. We paid for everything. And so this, you know, obviously a huge chunk of that. We're already well into the profit. So everything now is pure profit off of that buy. So that a really cool sale. And then we actually sold a, uh, you remember the uh, the drive-by bolo of the old rival crock pot? We paid just a couple bucks to pick that thing up. We parted it out. And uh, this is the third and final piece of that. Sold that for $19.99 plus priority shipping. So all told, after we figure out costs uh, a couple bucks out, we take out the fees. We made like 52 bucks off of uh, a couple dollars into a crock pot. So not bad. And then this one, a, a cool pickup. This was a, uh, a pickup from Goodwill. $1.49. Uh, this is the Muppets with like Vincent Price, Alice Cooper. A really good sell-through rate on this for a decent price. So what was it, 27 bucks or something? I don't know. I, I, you can see it over here. It's like 28 bucks essentially, plus shipping. So this a really cool sale. Keep an eye out for stuff that just looks off, right? I mean, Alice Cooper on the Muppets. That was something that uh, I decided to look up, and I'm glad I did because this was a nice little sale. And then this one, another uh, DVD, not quite so high dollar, $9.45 for a season of The Wire. That's still one of the best shows ever on TV. If you haven't seen The Wire, you, you're you doing TV wrong. Watch The Wire. It's really, really good. Uh, but uh, this one, not, not a huge seller, but I picked this up for a dollar a long time ago at Goodwill. It took a long time to sell. But we made a couple bucks on it and just sat in the media tote, so no big deal. Uh, this one, not so uh, not so long tail. There are other people out there selling a pair of these at a time, and so I had to figure out my my asking price. I had to undercut everybody because I only had one, and uh, it, it took a few months. But eventually, this thing sold. This is a uh, it's a headlight for a Volkswagen Beetle. I think 2001 through 2005 is the model year that this fits. So a uh, nice little flip. I bought this for five bucks at the National Guard thrift store. Okay, these uh, I sold as a set. I picked these up actually just down the road at, uh, at an estate sale that I stumbled into. This is the one where we found our biggest flip ever, the $500 little toy excavator. That video is pinned at top of our page if you haven't seen it. Uh, that one, a really, really cool thing. We, we made a lot of money off of this estate sale, and I think this might have been the last thing that we had hanging out from that sale. We've sold everything else. So uh, these hot little hot mats, hot plates, going out for 17 bucks and change plus shipping. So not bad on these. Not a huge dollar item, but very easy to just slide into a poly mailer. Actually, I put it in a padded air mailer and sent those out. This is one that might surprise you. This a uh, soundtrack. Now I've sold soundtracks before. Soundtracks often have uh, pretty not all of them because there's a lot of soundtracks, right? But uh, very often you find good soundtracks. Good soundtracks are worth money. DVDs, CDs, media is still worth money, guys. You can see I sold books later uh, on in this video as well. I've been selling through a lot of media this week, and it's a great return on investment. This again a, uh, a Goodwill pickup, a buck forty nine for this and this is apparently once I started researching it is a pretty hard to find album I don't think there are any available on Amazon right now I'm not sure if mine was the only one on eBay I can't remember now but it, one of the the few and I've really only had this for a month and a half two months ballpark I got it right before the lockdown really so this thing 36 bucks plus shipping for a used a DVD this is from Hot Wheels Acceleracers I don't know the show but it sounds like a show that uh, a lot of kids like and one of those where a soundtrack that you can play in the car and the kids like it and you don't mind it and you don't go crazy so the parents look for this one uh, so this a keep an eye out for this because this one is a sure seller if you find it and then on Wednesday 
we sold just one thing. But if you're gonna sell just one thing, make it something like this. This I've been hanging on to since last summer. Picked it up at the church thrift store. Uh, paid six dollars for this Osprey, a very good brand. I, I couldn't find this one anywhere. This particular model. It's a kids pack. Uh, you look at it and it looks basically like an adult rigid frame hiking pack. Uh, I, I had a couple of lowball offers on this one, but I knew eventually it was going to go. It wasn't really taking up space, so I could just kind of tuck it away behind my shelf here. Didn't mind hanging onto it and waiting for a good offer. And I got one. Uh, we got an offer for 70 bucks from somebody. She said that she wants to give this to her son for Easter, actually. He wanted, he's eight years old, wanted to start packing with uh, mom and dad and they thought this would be perfect for them, and uh, they're probably right. This thing's, I think, 21 inches tall. Uh, really, really nice pack, very lightly used. So uh, $6 into 70 plus priority shipping. So they ought to be getting that on uh, the day before Easter, I think. It ought, to, it ought to get there in time. If the USPS service holds up, this thing's going to make it, and he's going to have, uh, I, I hope, pretty cool Easter. Okay, continuing now, I can show you these things because I have to pack them up. I have to get them to the post office this afternoon. This is a gaming keypad sourced out of my death fort back there of, uh, of totes. Death pile sorted out into totes is now the death fort. Um, this I picked up, I believe, over a summer garage sale. And uh, it's, a, it's a gaming keypad. You, you put your hand here, and then you got access to the, like, the nine key. And uh, it's, it's got a wheel here. You got a controller over here. Um, it, it's all set up for gaming. This, I... I I think I remember I got this with a bunch of video games and stuff in a bundle deal, so I'm probably a dollar into this thing. And uh, you can see over there, really good flip, and it sold in less than a day, guys. So if you find something like this, I mean, I, th I think normally they're selling anyway, but I think there was two of these listed besides this one, and I think it was 63 sold. So when I pulled it out and I looked it up, this is the Nostra Nostromo Speed Pad N52. It's made by Belkin. Uh, when I looked this thing up and saw the sell through, I knew it was going to go quick and sure enough it did. I think it was something like 17 or 18 hours. This thing went for full price. So keep an eye out for gaming keypads like this. Okay. This one, uh, I almost kept because I, uh, I think it's pretty cool. This is, uh, one that I haven't seen before. Uh, relatively rare. It's a fairly long tail item, but I knew it would sell eventually. So again, $1.49 at Goodwill picked it up. Uh, this is a CD. You see we're selling media. This is Stallone. They took music from all of his movies. Well, not all of them, but many of his big movies. They took and they uh, compiled into one CD. So we've got Rocky. We've got Fist. We've got uh, a lot of these are Bill Conti, of course. Um, Nighthawks, Rocky III, First Blood, uh, Cobra, Over the Top. Over the Top is fantastic. Cliffhanger. Uh, a lot of themes and a lot of uh, memorable songs all on this. I think I had it up for about 25 bucks, something like that. Somebody sent me an offer of $19.99, and I took it. So this one going out. This one also going out. Uh, this one you'll recall. This is uh, another one that I picked up from Walmart on a retail arbitrage trip quite, quite a while back, but I actually sold one just like this. Uh, I believe it was this past weekend. And now this one sold $17.49. Uh, free shipping, but it's very, very light, and we picked this up for $2. Retail arbitrage, uh, the margin's... Not often uh, really, really high, but you make up for it because it's very easy to list. You can list quantities, and uh, it's very often pretty easy to ship as well. So this one, uh, going to just uh, wrap in a little bit of bubble, go in a box, and out the door. We're going to make about, uh, I don't know, 12, 13 bucks on this thing. I just took an offer on this. Actually, this is 100 Years of Solitude. Uh, this is actually, uh, I'd never heard of the book, but uh, it's apparently a, a pretty popular Pretty valuable book. Uh, I gave somebody a pretty good deal on it. Uh, they sent me an offer of $35 plus international shipping. It's going up to Canada, and I took that. I actually had an offer out. Somebody sent me an offer of $30 yesterday, and uh, I countered them at because uh, it's listed at, like, I think, $46. So I counted them at $39.99, and they hadn't gotten back with me yet. And so uh, the buyer that ultimately uh, did purchase this initially sent me an offer of 20 bucks. And I sent an offer back of $39.99 and said, hey, I'm certainly willing to deal, but I do have an offer out of this dollar amount already. So I, I'm gonna need a little bit more. And he came back at 35 bucks. So I thought, you know what? He is paying international shipping. So we did that. So this one going to Canada today.
And this is, and we're now two for two on selling pop-up books that I found. This is a really cool, this is Wicked the Musical. Uh, I'm going to pop one of these open in the back, like where the witch comes up. Not that one, because it's really, really neat. Um, how cool is this stuff? Um, and then the one with the flying monkeys is, I think, my favorite. Cool book. Um, it's headed uh, down to our neighbors to the south in Wyoming. I believe it's Afton, Wyoming. I don't know where that is, actually, but uh, Wyoming, a really cool state. And then I like to cut our neighbor's deals. So uh, if you're a neighboring state, I've cut deals in North Dakota. I don't know. Seems like the neighborly thing to do. This is about a $30 book that they sent me an offer of $26, and I took it. So we're only a couple bucks into this at Goodwill, and it clears it out. It's a little bit of a bigger book, so happy to get it out and happy to make a sale. A couple more. This also from that, uh, that bulk deal that I got from the guy getting out of reselling. Um, again, well into the profit. I, I'm less than a dollar probably into all the pieces plus. We got a whole bunch of shipping equipment. I actually just used the last roll of tape that I picked up. We got a couple of rolls of bubble there. I still have the clear envelopes. We've definitely made our money off of that. This, uh, keep an eye out for these. Now, not all of them are worth a ton, but this is a National Geographic Travel, uh, the National Geographic Travel Collection. This is a really nice field jacket. It's, it's got a nice lining to it. Uh, just a, a very nice heavy, I mean, it's a field jacket, but it's heavy, shirt as well it's somewhere there in the middle uh took an offer of 28 dollars plus uh, plus shipping for this so this a really nice sale just those two things we sold this week from that sale probably made us uh in profit what 60 bucks 65 bucks something like that so uh, we did really well off of that deal this week this one's going out the door today and my favorite sale of the week this my favorite sale of quite some time um <laughs> we sold this guy. This has been sitting. It actually, it wasn't in my uh, in my death fort. It was sitting off to the side. Uh, we got it last summer. I didn't get it listed in time for Easter, and so it's just been sitting there. I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait until around Easter. I'm going to post it again. I'll just let it sit. I kind of forgot about it, and uh, I was packing up some stuff earlier in the week, over the weekend, I guess. And I saw it sitting over there still, and I thought, oh no, I waited too long. I didn't post this thing. Um, so I posted it, I think Tuesday or Wednesday evening and it sold overnight guys. I had no idea how much to put it up for. Um, I put it up for $19.99 plus priority shipping. They, or best offer was on there. They didn't even send me a best offer. They just bought this thing overnight. Uh, then sent a message to me actually earlier this afternoon. Uh, I was out in the kitchen. I got a message. I looked and it was this buyer and said, thank you, please let me know when it ships. I'm very excited. You know, I, this is a, uh, I, I did some digging around today to try to figure it out. Um, weirdly looking up this thing after I sold it. Um, this seems like it was a small little trend, maybe in the 70s. They were cutting out, this is a, a, a bleach bottle. It's a Clorox bottle. And they cut a hole in it and uh, put, the, put the grass in it, the Easter grass. And then this, it feels like um, what's on like the plastic lays, um, the Hawaiian lays. That's what it kind of feels like. It's just, it's just ruffled plastic. Now, I, I saw some online, very few, but I saw some online. A lady had found a pink one and a yellow one at, at some sort of sale and was very excited to have found the two of them. Um, so apparently it's a thing and people look for these. I had no idea, uh, but this thing sold. Uh, for $19.99 plus shipping. There's a buyer on eBay for anything, guys. Anything. So that's our sales so far uh, this week. That's Monday through Friday. Uh, I'm going to cut it off because, like I said, I do have to pack these up. Uh, a couple of them came in today, but I like to get stuff out day of when I can. And I didn't pack up anything yesterday. I took a day off of packing, knowing that I had until 6 o'clock tonight to uh, to pack up those items that sold yesterday. So i uh, going to pack those things up. Just a quick reminder, show up on Monday. We're going to have a live show, 8 p.m. Eastern right here on Mountain Man Treasure. Now, the last uh, month we've been having a guest come in and interviewing a guest. Um, it's just me this week, and I'm talking about international shipping. Uh, we're going to sort of start with the, the global shipping program, explain how that works, 
and how that can increase your sales and uh, make you some more money. And then we're going to talk about direct international shipping and how that works. And then I'm going to move up to a program uh, called Web Interpret. It's a, it's a service, not a program, I guess. It's a, it's a company. Um, we're going to talk about Web Interpret. I'm going to spend some time on that because it's a relatively small customer base that they have. But by using their service, doing nothing. Once I get it set up, I'm literally doing nothing. They do the work for me. And I've made thousands of dollars in the last like eight months. By using them so I've talked with some of their uh, some of their executives actually they've given me some good information about their service about what it is they do so I could kind of get a little bit more information out to you guys I think it's gonna be a really valuable live show it might not be super exciting unless you get excited by making more money which I do so I think it's gonna be good and Monday we're giving away uh, a whole bunch of stuff I've got some of it sitting here behind me it's sitting on the table uh, we've got five things to give away to five different winners as part of our 500 subscriber giveaway. Now, if, if you haven't uh, entered into that yet, you do still have time. Just go to the 500 subscriber video. Very easy to find, just a couple back, and comment down below. That's it. We'll put the comments into a random comment selector, and we're going to pick out five winners, and I'm going to ship out this stuff to you if you're wondering what it is. Yeah, again, go back and look on that video. I think it's some cool stuff. I, I, I think you'll enjoy it. And it's free. I'm just sending it to you guys. So that's what I've got for you today, guys. I sure appreciate it. Have a happy Easter because I'm not going to see you until Monday night. So I, I hope you have a safe and happy Easter. I know it certainly looks different right now than uh, any Easter any of us have ever been a part of. But I hope you find a way to enjoy it. I hope you find a way to uh, to, to find the happiness, to find the joy, because there's there's always some to find. So look for the happiness. Look for the joy. Have a couple of Cadbury eggs for me throw away the peeps, and we'll see you on Monday.